dream comes true. You could swim along the river, all the way to the sea. You could fly up in the sky, above the clouds and trees. You could plant a flower garden up on top of the moon. You could swing through the jungle all afternoon. Wherever our story takes us, I can't wait to see. Yes, friends, come and read with me. It's online story time. and welcome to Online Storytime at your Grand Rapids Area Library. I'm Miss Tracy. And I'm Grandma Pat. And we are so excited to have you here with us today talking about a really, really fun thing. Hey, Grandma Pat, before we talk about that really, really fun thing, should we sing? I'd love to. All right, Storytime friends, would you join us? Remember, clap whatever you got. Here we go. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. And I really want to hear a story. So Grandma Pat, what do you want to talk about today? Oh, look here. Look at that. What are those? Brand new socks. You have brand I new brand socks? Brand new socks on my feet. Yes, I do. Wow, and they look like the color gray that matches your gray pants yep. and your gray shoes. Yep, put together, right? Mm -hmm. So we can do a whole story time talking about socks? Yes, we could because socks are really important and they are fun. Yeah, socks you know, can be fun. I have a book that tells you that even ducks wear socks. No, they don't. To a sock hop, which is a dance. A sock hop? A sock hop, yeah. You're gonna hear about that. Do all the socks go hop, hop, hop? You're gonna find out. I'm looking forward to okay. it. Miss Tracy, look, we got sock books. Oh, I like books about socks, I think. Well, we'll see. This is called Duck Sock Hop by Jane Kohuth and illustrated by Jane Porter. And it is brought to us from Penguin Group Publishers. Oh, this is promising. Blue duck, blue toad socks. Okay, here we go. Ducks pull socks from a big sock box. My goodness. Socks with stripes and socks with spots. Socks with squares and socks with dots. Socks with stars and socks with moons and socks with cars and socks with spoons. Spoons? Spoons. They have spoons on socks? These, these ducks do. Ruffled, lacy, jewel deluxe. Left sock, right sock. Socks on ducks. Warm up wiggle, stretch your beak. Duck sock hop comes once a week. The mood is high, the sun is low. The music starts, get ready, go! Got an accordion and a harmonica and a banjo. That's some music. Three ducks boogie. One duck rocks. Two ducks stop and trade their socks. Ducks line up to dance in rows. Look at these socks are alike. They kick their feet and touch their toes. Ducks drop crumbs. Ducks spill juice. Ducks get sticky. Socks get loose. You ever do that? Stick in something, step in something sticky and lose your sock? Holes appear in three sock heels. Two cars lose their button wheels. 
four jewels scatter, five stripes sag, one duck's ruffle starts to drag. Socks go stretch, socks go rip. Ducks teeter tumble, twist and trip. With a scratch, screech, bam, the music stops. And ducks fall down in big duck flops. <laughs> You've even got the accordion player there and the banjo player and the harmonica is loose. Ducks get Band-Aids, ducks get snacks. They wave goodbye with happy quacks. Flocks of friends march down the street with an empty box and bare duck feet. But soon enough, ducks want new socks. They fetch their friends and grab their box and dance on down to the duck sock shop. And count the days to the next sock hop. Those ducks had plenty of fun. Hey, Grandma Pat. Yep. Storytime friends, are you ready for a flannel board? Yes, I am! Are that, you ready? Yes, it's adorable! I know, right here, we have a purple hippo. And our purple hippo has a problem. And the problem is, she can't find her other sock. Oh, that is a problem. So we're gonna see if we can help her. So this is actually a true story, and this is called One Red Sock by Jennifer Settler. Okay, here we go. In a big pink chair, in a room full of dots, sat a purple hippo with one red sock. It looks funny this way. This will just not do. So she put on another sock. And this one was blue. Did you hear the rhyming words in that? She said, this will not do. And we rhymed the word do with blue. Oh, I have to be fashionable or I cannot be seen. So she put on another sock. And this one was, you're right, green. Well, that looks like that should work, right? She stuck out her chin. This won't ruin my day. So she put on another sock. And this one was gray. This is driving me crazy. This just isn't right. So she put on another sock. And this one was white. Good job on the rhyming. She was losing her patience. She told herself, think. So she put on another sock, and this one was, you got it, pink. That matches her chair. Well, I hope this one works. It's the last one I've got. And she pulled on a sock with polka dots. Well, it's not perfect, and it's definitely not red, but at least it matches my room, she said. So she tottered off happy, though her socks weren't a pair. And the other red sock, 
It had always been there. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, thanks for playing. Now we have a story about lucky socks. How can socks be lucky? Well, we're gonna find out. This story is by Carrie Weston. It's illustrated by Charlotte Milton and it's brought to us by Phyllis Fogelman Books from New York City. On Monday morning, Kevin put on his red socks. He spilled his breakfast. The button popped off his shorts and he was late for school. Mm. On Tuesday, Kevin wore his green socks. He got his spelling all wrong at school and his bicycle got flat. Well, that doesn't sound like a lucky sock. No. On Wednesday, Kevin wore his blue socks. It rained all day, and he dropped his sticker collection. Blue socks aren't doing it. On Thursday, Kevin wore his striped socks, and his beetle escaped from his bug jar. There wasn't enough time for Kevin to take his turn on the computer, and it was meatloaf surprise for lunch. Mrs. Riley chose him to be the star in the school play. Oops, we forgot this part. But on Friday, Kevin wore his yellow socks. There they are. Mrs. Riley chose him to be the star in the school play. The next time Kevin wore his yellow socks, Billy Bennett, Bennett invited him over to his house to build a tent. They found ice cream in the freezer. Whenever Kevin had his yellow socks on, his writing always seemed to fit on the page. Should we see what he wrote? Yesterday I went to Billy's house he had ice cream and built a tent. Then we looked for bugs in the garden. I found two worms and a centipede. Billy found a big spider. It was all hairy. We put the bugs in Billy's bug jar. Billy said it would be a nice surprise for his mom and dad. We put the bug jar on the table at snack time. Billy was right. His mom and dad were very surprised. <laughs> Bye, Kevin. It all fit. Kevin's ball never went over the fence when he wore his yellow socks. And he never, ever went home with muddy knees. But on the morning of the field day at school, Kevin couldn't find his yellow socks. He looked in the drawer. He looked in the closet. He looked under his bed. He looked in his bed. He looked through the dirty laundry. He even looked in the fridge. Because you would, wouldn't you? Kevin's mom helped him look. She found some red socks, blue socks, some gray socks, polka dot socks, tiger stripe socks, fire engine socks, and even Kevin's old baby socks. I need my yellow socks, wailed Kevin. All his mom could find were some old yellow underpants. Kevin was unhappy all the way to school. He was unhappy as he got changed for field day. Then Kevin fell flat on his face in the sack race. He got all mixed up in the dress up race and he just couldn't balance his bean bag in the balance the bean bag on your head race. Mm. Kevin thought about his yellow socks as the other children went up to get their medals. Then Mrs. Riley called out Kevin's name. 
Kevin got a special medal. He was trying very hard at everything and never giving up. Everyone cheered and clapped for Kevin. He felt really proud. Now Kevin doesn't mind what color socks he wears, but he's very fond of his yellow underpants. Can't have yellow lucky socks, I suppose that's best. Story time, friends. Grandma Pat. What? You wanna wave a scarf? Oh, yes, I do. All right, we'll give Grandma Pat Teacher Missy's green scarf. Thank you. So out of your story time kit, I'd like you to find your scarf or your washcloth or your paper towel or your sock. <laughs> yeah, you can wave your sock. That would be really, really funny on sock day to wave your sock. You can wave whatever you got. Excuse me? Did you hear something? Grandma Pat, did you hear something? I think I did. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, of course. Yes, you may. Story time, friends. Tiger would like to join us today. Hi, Grandma Pat. Oh, I miss Tiger. How are you today? I'm good. I am simply delightful. How are you, story time, friends? I'm just going to sit right here. That's right, Tiger. You sit right there. And you can listen to us wave our scarf. All right, my friends, let's start with our scarf warm up because that's like my favorite. Here we go. My scarf goes up, my scarf goes down, my scarf goes around, 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 around. My scarf goes in, my scarf comes out, my scarf flies about, 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 about. Woo! <laughs> yep, I think it's time for faster. Here we go. Do you think your arm's ready? Do you think your scarf's ready? Do you think everybody in the room is ready? Okay, here we go. My scarf goes up, my scarf comes down, my scarf goes around, 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 around. My scarf goes in, my scarf comes out, my scarf flies about, 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 about. Woo! Okay, I'm feeling like I'm warmed up now. How about you? We are going to do a song. I'm going to hand Grandma Pat the words. Oh, thank you. We're going to do a song called, This is What My Socks Can Do. And I think you may, may be surprised at all the things that your socks can do. Here we go. This is what my socks can do. Socks can do. Socks can do. This is what my socks can do. Can you do it too? Here you go. First, our socks are going to go up and down. Let your socks go up and down, up and down, up and down. Let your socks go up and down, all around the room. What else can your socks do? Can your socks hop? Here we go. Let's try let your socks go hop, 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 hop. Let your socks go hop, 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 all around the room. Nice job. Now, what if your socks want to be quiet and stealthy? To be stealthy means that you want nobody to hear you. Yeah, let's try tiptoeing. Let's tiptoe in our socks. Can your socks go tiptoeing, tiptoeing, tiptoeing? Can your socks go tiptoeing all around the room? Nice job. Okay, I got a little pent up energy. How about if our socks jump? Can your socks jump? Here we go. Make your socks go jump, jump, jump. Jump, 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 jump. Make your socks go jump, jump, jump all around the room. Nice that job. Fun. Hey, thanks for playing. Grandma Pat, what a fabulous day I had today. I had so much 
fun story time friends i hope that you had a really good time too talking about socks first we got to go to the duck sock hop and they hopped around and they sang a song and they did a dance in their lucky lucky socks I lucky socks even, i didn't even know ducks wore socks I let know. alone go to a dance and then we got to hear all about kevin's lucky socks but what did kevin do on the day he couldn't find his yellow lucky socks. That's right. His mom gave him some yellow lucky underwear. And Kevin tried so hard on that day, and he got a special medal for being the kid who tried the hardest. Those are some lucky yellow underwear. Mm -hmm. And then we had our purple hippo who couldn't find her other red sock. Do you remember where it was? That was such a surprise. Do you remember? It was on her chair the whole time. Was sitting on it all I the know. time. That was pretty silly. But now, my friends, I think it's time to say goodbye. No, really? It is. It really is. Yeah. Okay. Would you sing with us? All right, here we go. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Story time is done today. Now it's time to go and play. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, everybody. Go put on some socks.